rare and dramatic show in the skies with millions of Americans looking up. The day turned into night for a few minutes in cities along the path of totality. Stargazers in South Florida also got a glimpse of the celestial sight. NASA estimates that 99% of America saw some form of the solar eclipse. And the next total solar eclipse in the U.S. won't happen for another 20 years. Mm -hmm. We have live team coverage. Christy La Rosa is standing by in Sunrise. But we begin with Andrew Perez, who had one of the best views in Dallas, Texas. Andrew. You know, you walk around the city even right now at this late hour and people are still just talking about this coming down from this high. There was so much concern, so much buildup because of all the cloud cover. But as you mentioned, Dallas had one of the best views in the country. It's a moment that feels like the world suddenly stops. It cools down. It gets dark. Just before two, we get totality in Texas. <laughs> Wow. What's going on through your head as you're watching that moment? Just overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. It's, it's hard to describe how overwhelming it is in person. It really puts into perspective how unique we are to be here. You know, it just makes you feel like your place in the world. How small we are, how much space there actually is. People flew in from all around the world to get to Dallas, and all those clouds that threatened the view took off last minute. Everybody was shocked. But at the very end, when the eclipse was almost over and there was a ring, it was just, <laughs> I, I was so touched by it. It's something you'll never see again. It's something I told my granddaughter that my mother and my grandmother never got to experience. But millions did experience this all along the path of totality, starting from Mexico. Amazingly beautiful once in a lifetime. Up through Texas and Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, moving through Ohio. We seal this moment with a kiss. Congratulations. More than 70 couples there tying the knot and marking the moment. This was the largest mass travel event in the U.S. this year. A moment we won't see here again until August of 2044. Everyone's coming together and we don't have a lot of that and that's part of the cool thing about this. It's uh, nearly spiritual is the best way to describe it. It's a moment to, to just like take it all in. So I'm realistic. I know it might sound corny, but it really was an emotional experience. And I, I was even shocked about that. I took that moment. I looked up. I took a deep breath. I'm like, this is incredible. And the best way that I can describe it is there's just this stillness, like nothing you've ever experienced before. The wind suddenly dies down. It gets eerily quiet. And then it just goes from dark for a couple of minutes right back to light. And things pick up once again. All right, sign me up for the next one. I'll tell you that much. Uh, I'll fight you over that one. Sorry, brother. Uh -uh. I got dibs Local on the next one. News. Thank you, Andrew. You're